Hi, I'm Kate Young, Parliamentary Secretary for Science, and I'm delighted to be here today with Dr. Mona Niemer, our new Chief Science Advisor, and of course, our Minister of Science, Kirsty Duncan. Hi, Kate. Hi, Kate. Well, we know Canadians and our government values science. Uh, but Kirsty, why is it so important for our government to make the promise to support science? Science touches every aspect of our lives. It's about the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. It's about the device you're watching this video on. We are a government that has promised to strengthen science in Canada, to strengthen evidence-based decision-making, and I want to create a culture of curiosity. So tell us about Mona's new position. Why was it important for our government to name a chief science advisor? We made a promise to restore science to its rightful place, and now we've delivered on that promise by having our new chief science advisor, Dr. Mona Niemer. Mona is going to provide the best scientific advice so we can make the best decisions for Canadians. So Mona, tell us a bit about uh, your new role and what it entails. Well, my new role is to advise government uh, in uh, matters of uh, where there is science, and there are many of them, as, as Gertz has just said. It's also about uh, raising awareness of scientific matters with the public, and uh, this way the Canadians will be able to better understand the science behind decisions, so it supports democracy. So tell me, Kirsty, what is the difference then between your two positions? So Mona brings the science. She's going to collate the current state of science, the latest information we have, the science, the evidence, the facts. She'll bring it to me. And then the prime minister and the cabinet will consider science along with the other factors we have to take into consideration when we make decisions. So the economy, the different regions of Canada, our diversity, equity, we will take science into consideration with all those facts before we act. Science in action. So Mona, what's your first order of business? Well, my first order of business will be to make sure that this actually can happen in partial advice and to develop really a network of chief science advisor per uh, department or per sector so that they can support me in providing the best advice to government. We're all very excited about your new role. Thank you so much to both of you. Thank you, and I look forward to helping make Canada a global leader in science in all its dimensions. Mona, I just want to say thank you for taking on the position of the Chief Science Advisor. We are so thrilled to have you. Here's to stronger science in Canada.